Hey guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. This is for the element of water. Uh, so if you're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of December 2nd through the 4th, 2022. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to email me for a price list if you don't already have it. If you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So make sure that you're first registered at Paid Communications. Request your call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for monthly Venus sign readings and check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Five of Swords, and we've got the Tower, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Three of Wands. Hmm. All right, so I feel that there are some sort of issues in regards to communication. Um, either there's some kind of miscommunication with people um, or the way someone's message is being delivered uh, could be too brash um, or hurtful in a sense. Mm. I kind of feel like maybe someone is trying to be clear and honest, but maybe the truth hurts. Um, I just feel like maybe there is also something unexpected, like you might find out some sort of information that shakes you up a little bit. You also could respond in a way that you didn't mean to respond, like it just comes out of nowhere. Maybe you lose your temper or maybe someone loses their temper on you. There's also the possibility of you just like quitting your job unexpectedly. Um, or if it's not quitting, it could be that you find out some sort of information that's very uh, disheartening. Um, or maybe you just, maybe it's possible, yes, you could just randomly lose your job and then feel like, where do I go now? You know, something makes you feel lonely or lost. And I think, too, you weren't expecting to feel this way. Mm, I feel like maybe you're also feeling kind of emotional because you get some sort of response that you weren't expecting. Um, and even if you are feeling some type of way, I feel like you're also trying to hide what you really feel. Um, I just see you building up some sort of wall around you and trying to protect your energy or trying to protect your feelings. It seems like you and another person have also been kind of distant from each other um, or standoffish, um, just guarded in general. And it also seems like you are responding. Your responses are based off of how this person is uh, behaving around you. So you might become distant and cold because you feel like, well, they were being distant and cold with me. Um, you also may be just trying to prove a point by being guarded or silent. Hmm. If someone has been uh, standoffish or distant, 
I feel like someone's going to break their silence. Mm. I feel like you also end up feeling like you don't know what to do next. You seem like, now what? You know, what's in my future? I feel like you're questioning your future. And I feel that there's something that happens unexpectedly in your life. Maybe you feel like you have no stability or something's up in the air. Um, it seems like something is beyond your control or out of your hands. And so you're just like, what do I do next? You might feel like the rug got pulled from underneath you. Or maybe something happened where your routine got disturbed like you had like this routine and then all of a sudden your routine you don't have that routine anymore so you feel lost you're like well normally at this time I do this but I'm not I don't do that anymore so now what do I do something requires you to rebuild you might need to rebuild trust with somebody you also might need to repair something in your home. It could be something burst um, or breaks down. Hmm. I feel like after some sort of initial disappointment that you will become more optimistic about the future though. You might have a change of perspective. Um, let's see. It kind of seems too like maybe you want to get away, but you feel stuck. It's something that you're wanting to do, but you feel like you don't know how. Something seems to be going on with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like maybe there's some sort of loose ends or unfinished business. Something needs to be addressed. You might start looking at someone in a different light or vice versa. Um, I just feel like something's being exposed, like the truth is coming out. And then it, it's like once the truth is out, somebody doesn't have anything else to hide behind. And it's like, OK, we've got to address this. So something may be forcing you out of your comfort zone or to talk about uncomfortable issues. Mm. Yeah. I feel like there there is an unstable situation in your life and I feel like it's gonna something's gonna fall apart something that's unstable is gonna fall apart um, maybe you didn't realize that there were cracks in the foundation of a relationship and now those cracks are being ex exposed but I feel like it's so that something can be resolved or fixed Mm. So like had you never had a pipe burst in the basement, you wouldn't have known that, you know, something was on a faulty line or whatever. So now at least you know that so you can repair it. Um, something maybe you were only looking at something at a surface level. Mm.
something could be coming out in regards to a family secret. I also feel like maybe someone was trying to deflect from the truth, but someone can't deflect anymore. If this is a love situation in regards to somebody that you're attracted to and you guys have been trying to hide your feelings from each other or resist these feelings that you have, I feel like the truth is going to come out about that. Something might happen where it's like, okay, this is inevitable. This is, it's like a pressure cooker. And then I just feel like something has been building up and up and up and then finally there's some sort of explosion um so if someone has been hiding you know their true feelings for you or vice versa i just feel like it's going to come out mm. hmm I just feel like you are going to be forced outside of your comfort zone in some way. Like your situation is being set up so that you have to do something about it. You have to make a change. You have to say something. Something has to be done. The moon might have you guys feeling very emotional. It looks like it's almost half full now. Um, but I still feel like something about the moon is making you very emotional. I just really feel like somebody get their feelings hurt. Um, someone says something that disrupts your soul or something. Like you're feeling some type of way. Um, something throws you off. You also just seem to feel disconnected in some way. Mm. Or like you don't fit in. I do feel like you are dealing with anxiety or this might be more of an anxiety attack. You might have an anxiety or a panic attack or someone that you know might have one. Anxiety also can be confused with like um, a heart attack. Of course, go to the doctor or the hospital if you feel like you know, something serious is going on. Okay, I kind of feel like someone is also being forced out. So unfortunately, somebody might be forced to move.
I feel like money is tight and you're needing to hold on to your finances. There's a need for you to keep something to yourself until you can sort things out. I feel like you're having to um, take some sort of an, an assessment of what your next move is going to be. Mm, you also might be questioning whether or not something is worth it. I feel like you're trying to figure out what can you afford or what can you afford not to lose? Like something you're trying to figure out about what's valuable to you. Something may also cause you to reevaluate your self-worth. Now, it also looks like maybe somebody is waiting for your response, but it's like you're not ready to respond yet or vice versa. Like for the most part you're trying to figure out what are you going to do now that something is over or gone or has changed I feel like you're really being forced to go in a different direction and I feel like you don't want to go in this direction this is something caught you off guard you're like I don't want to change I don't want to move I don't want to do this I don't want to spend my money and it's like you're being forced to do something you don't really want to do Hmm. I also feel like someone is obsessively watching but not saying anything. All right, so let's pull some energy cards. All right, additional messages for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have man holding a coin, seven the chakra, archangel Uriel, angel of strength, overall energy, first chakra, archangel Michael. Um, so again, it does look like your foundation, your security is at stake. Um, it could be anything dealing with your living situation to a relationship, but I feel that your foundation is at stake or that's something that's on your mind. You are needing to ground yourself too because I feel like if you are having some sort of anxiety attack, it's because you're, you know, your mental is spiraling and you just need to get a grip on reality. You need to calm yourself down. 
um, you need to just kind of like take a breather. Um, so I feel like you're also needing to be grounded because you're overthinking something. Overthinking. Seems like something's going to be revealed to you where something also seems like an awakening. Hmm. Okay. So something is like the catalyst, a catalyst of change for you. It could be that someone is acting as a catalyst to disrupt your life, to get you on a different path. It could be an event, like I said, getting some sort of eviction notice or getting fired. Like something is a catalyst in your life. Um, even if it's not that extreme, it's still something significant happening to you where it's causing you to have a realization or, or an awakening. I feel too like you are trying to shut something off, uh, a connection. I feel like maybe you have some sort of telepathic connection with someone, but you want it to stop because it seems like you're being spied on or it seems like, I don't know, it's too many coincidences. So you start to feel like, okay, no, like I, I'm being spied on. That might be the spying energy that I was picking up. Or maybe it is like being spied on, but unintentionally, like there's something triggering some sort of psychic connection between you and another person. Something between your synastries is like triggering something psychic and it's like you maybe it feels like you're just tapped into this person's thoughts like non-stop it's frustrating you might get angry um yeah because it's feeling intrusive you feel like somebody is invading your private thoughts but i feel like maybe it's unintentional I feel like something's also going to be revealed to you to prepare you for what's to come. Something is like a warning. It's like a siren. You might start feeling a sense of urgency to prepare you for something. Mm. Yeah, I'm hearing something in regards to like sirens. Mm. You are also being asked to like stand your ground in regards to something that you believe in. And I also feel like you're being protected by unseen forces. Maybe something you get receive some sort of sign or signal that you're being protected. Yeah. So hopefully these messages help, uh, but feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sending you love and grace.